Hello and welcome back to XTOM, now with sound, which is exciting. Let's get into it. Um, sorry about last episode, if you were um, part of that, or wanted to be part of that and weren't because you couldn't stand listening to... the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. After and one how research do you mission. We do this, Doctor? The autopsy I just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror mo Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it and interrogate it. Find out what they want, where they're operating from. Yes, that possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Wow, I completely forgot there was a video for that. There you go, we've completed a research project and got a snazzy new video. Don't worry, there's not a video for every research project. Okay, so, um, we've got alien containment, um, but now we need to research something to zap aliens, so let's get on it. I'm still having a uh, and we better go build that alien containment, I reckon. Are they um, us? Oh, we can't, because we need... Alloys, we need 20 alloys and we've only got 19, so... Oh, we're also going to need power. So, that's a problem. I want to kind of put power... Where do I want to put power? Probably in this sort of area, so let's build an access lift. So that we can put power in there when that's finished, and then we can put our... We might excavate that as well. Alright. That'll do. Okay, next up, let's get on to the missions. Two scientists for six sectoid corpses? Yes! Good work, Japan. Thank you. Good deal. And we are heading to India. Okay, so it's light panic, so it's only... No, sorry, not light panic, light, light attack. So we're not dealing with too many enemies. We should be able to send a team of mostly rookies to this. Hey, we've got um, we've got upgrades to do. So we've got a a heavy. Oh, we've got the general. We've got Peter Van Dorn, and we've got Glenn Freaky Friday. I guess that's the guy that was just sitting down hiding all that last mission, that that council mission. We've also got Vargas and Perea ready to go. They're both rockets or gunners. So let's go. Let's make the general a. I'm gonna make him a rocketeer because rocketeers are cool. All right, we don't have one yet. So we've got the choice of heat warheads that gives rockets and grenades extra damage to robotic enemies. That's pretty great. Ranger, plus one damage with primary weapons, rocket launchers, and secondary weapons. Okay. A mech secondary weapons. So, so with his gun and rocket, he would get extra damage. And extra damage reduction. That's pretty good too. I'm thinking though, I think we want Ranger. Because extra damage across the board like unconditionally it's probably better than extra damage with rockets against robots I mean robots are a real worry we've got to really deal with them but I think we'll take Ranger there we go okay so that's a rocketeer on the board and then let's also get let's take Freaky Friday no Freaky Friendly what's it old name okay nice hat Okay, so you can have... Oh, we're going to make you something, weren't we? What are we going to make you? Oh, he's a support. I wanted to make him a grenadier, because we don't have a grenadier yet. Alright. Or do we? Maybe we do, and I just... Anyway, we've got another grenadier if we didn't already have one. Okay, so we'll send these two guys on the mission. And we'll also send some rookies, I think. Let's send the team from... Let's send the Portuguese. Who else have we got? Portuguese. That's one... That's one. Oh, oh, we've got done that one. That's one. That's it. Um, Brazil. They speak Portuguese in Brazil, right? I think they do. Okay. 
So this is all good. This is this looks like a pretty half decent loadout actually. And let's just let's just go with that. Um, actually, no. We should switch our engineer because engineers are great at grenades. So we'll switch our engineer to having flash fangs. Sure. And then we'll we've got rocket kits on both of these guys. So so rocket kits, med med kits. Switch one of them to a HE. Excellent. And we'll give these guys instead of flash, you can have scope. Mm -hmm. And you, instead of a AP, can have extra mag capacity mags. Okay, team's ready. Let's go to India. Strike one. All right. So. Um, Apparently, you get you get Van Dorn in this um in this. I don't remember getting Van Dorn in Vanilla. Is that new? Anyway, you get some UN troops. Um, you certainly don't remember Freaky Friendly, so um they're handy guys to have a couple of extra soldiers, especially since I didn't know I was getting them. Because uh, that mission was pretty great already. It gave me uh gave me science, you know, gave me engineers or scientists. I think it gave me engineers, a bunch of money, um and some panic reduction, and you also get two soldiers. So it's a good mission to get done. This is why council missions are so great. It looks like this um, Operation Blinding Sleep is on the construction site map, which um, can be a bit weird. Um, if you can get the elevation early, it's an easy map. Um, I've last game I played on Enemy Within, I seem to get the same map with against Exalt troops quite a lot. Um, I think I've got it two different times against Exalt, and it was really quite easy. But um, we'll see how we go against presumably aliens. Here I'm talking about Exalt, even though you guys haven't met Exalt yet, if you're new to a uh, long war or to enemy within, Exalt are fun. We'll look, look forward to meeting them. Exalt are jerks. Okay, um, so default starting area. We uh, Let's go. Didn't trigger anyone, good. trigger anyone. Okay, there we go. We've got a uh, sectoid or two back that way. Good, they've got less, they got inferior cover to me though, so that's okay. Okay, so now we've got, where are we going to put these guys that they're going to be able to do something decent? So those three are in, you know, in fine cover, so I don't have to worry about them. Um, these other guys, we're going to leave a bit further back in the hopes that they'll be a little bit safer from those sectoids. Approaching target now. Okay, so those three on Overwatch, the other three are pushed out. No, this guy can Overwatch as well. All right, Overwatch is all round. Okay, anyone pushing this way? So, what kind of shots you got on them? 26 and 41. 41's half decent. Take it. Perfect. Okay, so with that, this one should be able to head straight around there. And I'm thinking... Okay, so this guy can't see around this way, so if we go to there... She should be around to get around next time and do the flank, which could be, which should be pretty cool. So, we've got that guy pretty much dealt with now, if everything goes to plan. <laughs> can send friendly up this way. Actually, what we don't want to do is go too far this way and trigger any guys up here, because they could come down and kill her. So, we'll just play it reasonably laid back here. Can go up to there as well. Oh, 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 we got contacts. That was unexpected. Oh, that's cool. Well, look at that guy's... That guy would... This might be... Um, we might be able to get him. But not from cover. We can't get to cover. Nuts. Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem because if this guy comes around... Whoop, this guy comes around this way... He can shoot anyone that's sitting in this sort of area. But these guys 
can't get at those guys without getting into that sort of area. That's a bit of a catch-22, that one. Okay, so we'll drop him down there. He can overwatch. drop him down here as well. We're just pushing them back a little bit so they're safe from that cross and um, should be fine. As long as we can convince that sectoid not to see what's behind it, we should be okay. Everyone's in half decent cover. Don't run. Okay. okay. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He did run. But where did he run to? It's a mystery. Okay, what are these sectoids up to? Push up to the half cover and go on overwatch, okay. Oh, okay. So this is a good time to see how your rockets are going, Van Dorn. Why not? Okay, plus 2.2. Oh, rockets can miss. Really? Okay, that's new. See how it goes. I won't go down without a fight. Okay, so we did some damage and broke a lot of cover, so that's that's pretty handy. Um, Rocketeer class in um, in this is really interesting. Like in the uh, yeah, in uh, in Enemy Unknown, the the Rocketeer is just like a heavy weapons guy and a Rocketeer. So um, the, the, the mix of just a normal gunner and rocketeer is really interesting. Okay. Let's get... We don't know where that alien went. So it's possible... It's possible it's back here or it's possible it's in here. We're going to bet on it being in here. Correct. And now we're going to bet on her being able to kill it, which is only 40, 59%. Which is not great. Ah, let's give it a try. Damn it. Okay, that's that's not good because... Uh, okay, Batista can go around here and... Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get some kind of cross-up on that. That's a bit annoying though. Uh, okay, so if we got this guy to go around this way... Yep. Okay. Then he could definitely... 61% on the Overwatch guy, but 68% back on that one. Let's take him out. Perfect. Oh, and he also took out that one because of the mind meld. I didn't think about that. Perfect. Okay. Then we can go up to... Oh, we can get up to that half cover now. And stick an Overwatch on. I'm thinking this guy might go up this way because I'm feeling like I didn't handle this sectoid situation very well. I probably should have just used a grenade and be done with it. Bit of a mistake, that. Alright, let's hope we don't pay with for it with someone's life. Uh, that's a flank. 79% chance to hit. Okay, so they hurt us, but they didn't kill us. That's fine. We'll take that wound and... We'll be sad that we got it, but we, we won't cry. Okay, this guy's going after friendly. 30% and he hits it. No, 40% I guess. Okay. You hurt me, man. You're, you're, you're going to pay for that now. Okay. Yep. Don't mess with friendly. Alright. We might actually use this one to kill if we can, simply because she's injured and therefore don't want to put her into the big fight somewhere. I'm rolling. All right, this time she's going to kill this guy. Pity about last time. X-ray down. All right, then you can head over this way and you can put you up that ladder next turn. Okay, Van Dorn. Affirmative. Stick you on Overwatch. And 
you. What are we going to do with you? I think we might do the same. We might stick you up this ladder with the other guy. Okay, so all in all, we've had someone injured. Um, but we've killed our five sectoids. And we've done so relatively painlessly. So that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, this is going okay. Alright. Next up, we still haven't found any meld. Or any of the good stuff like that. Okay. No, no targets yet. we move Van Dawn up to there. Still no targets. Interesting. Kuna up to there. Still no targets. There's no cover left on this um, shipping container, so it's not that useful to us anymore as cover. Move Freaky over here. Oh, he's got one. Okay, so we've got two sectoids up on the roof. Could potentially take a shot at that if we really wanted to. Okay. Um. Up onto here. No known enemies. Okay. So the question is, is there only seven enemies on this map, or is there another mob of sectoids that we haven't found yet? I suspect the answer is there's another mob of sectoids that we haven't found yet. But I can't be sure of that, of course. Could just be only the seven guys, but seven is not very many. You would normally expect at least eight. Okay. I don't like leaving him there, given, especially given that he's injured. So I'm actually going to pull him out. I know that's wimpy, but what are you going to do? I'm going to move this guy up to there, because he should be safe. Oh, I should, should have thought about the fact that there might have been another group of sectoids around that corner. That could have been disastrous. Oh, well, worked fine. Martin's could come up this way. Alright, and Van Dorn can just sit on Overwatch. What have we got? Nothing. Alright. So, we're going to go up the hill, see what's on top. Nothing. Nothing. Convenient. Pop up to there. Oh, 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 we can see that guy. Okay, so he is overwatched. So we do need to watch out for that. Um, hmm. How do we get at a guy that's overwatched in an awkward position like that, especially given that he's got a friend? We can get to some partial cover here and take a shot. Oh, that's high cover. But we probably can't get to that without getting shot at. Oh, 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 he can shoot at us from here. That was not what I was expecting. Ah, Van Dorn! We don't want to lose Van Dorn. Forty-eight percent chance to hit that, so that's Oh, the other one's also on reaction. Oh, dear. Okay, at least that one missed. Okay, so we didn't we didn't manage this very well, but... Go on, open up. Good. I'm thinking there's a half-decent chance that these two guys are the only two guys left, so we're just gonna... just gonna take the shot. No joy here at all. We'll just bring everyone forward, open all the clips, and see if we can kill him off. Good. One more shot will do it, boys and girls. Who else we got left? Just you two. Come on, you gotta hit this. Yes. Okay, is that the end? Okay, it is. We got a bunch of guys wounded there, but we didn't lose anyone. And oh, Van Dorn was probably gravely wound, wounded. And, um, units that are gravely wounded, not only are they going to be out of the battle for a really long time, but they also suffer a decrease in willpower, um, which is a bad thing because willpower is going to make them better psionic troops. So yeah, gravely wounded, that's not great. He also didn't get any kills. So... Um,
Um, that's that's not great. But our um, our Portuguese speakers did very well. Very happy with all of those. Okay, so we got another support and two more scout snipers. Um, that's okay. We'll take that. And a little bit of meld. We didn't ever find the meld, but I guess it was out there somewhere. Okay. So that was a pretty easy mission. So we know from now on that light missions we're probably expecting an equivalent of about seven sectoids, which is which is not very many. So that was a nice easy mission, and hopefully you can even hear me all the way through it. Okay, see you next time.